Okay, to start off this key card door, let's first make our key card. So let's insert a part and let's make the size about 1, 0 0.2, comma 2. You have your small key card. You can make this any color you want. I'll make it blue. Um, very important. Right click this, rename, and name this to handle with a capital H. Then on workspace, click on the plus sign, insert a tool. Let's rename this to key card and drag the handle into the key card and drag this into the starter pack here then when i test out the game i have a key card in my inventory and okay to fix this issue um what you have to do is go into your handle turn off and collide and turn off anchored now when i test this game i will have this now if you don't like how the key cards or or how you are holding the key card you can use this simple plugin which will be linked into the description below tool group editor so click into your key card go into your plugins tool group editor edit tool group and you can see here like your hand model so let's rotate this because i want this to be vertical like this and let's move this a bit up just like this and i think i'll also move this a bit back so yeah i think that's perfect Let's turn off to repetitors. So now when I play this game, um, the position of the keycard is saved. Um, now next, let's make the door. Just add a part. Uh, make this how big you want. It is just to test it out like this. And let's rename this to door. Uh, also important is inside of here, add a proximity prompt. And then action text. Let's do um, slide keycard and then an object name you can also obviously you can do whatever you want i will just do a keycard reader um, let's do also um the whole duration let's set this to 0 0.5 and the max activation distance let's set this to 5. now when we test the game you have your door here when you go near it, you see quick card reader slide key cards and you have to hold 0 0.5 seconds to hold it you can see it still doesn't work because you didn't add any scripts yet so inside a door let's add a script let's rename the script something in the lines of key card door script like this and inside of the script let's add a simple uh script so we of course will call out our door which is your script dot parent as you can see here the parent here is the door and then second of all let's local our proximity prompt so, so we just bring this to prompt and this goes to door dot point find first child uh proximity prompt and we will local a remote event which we still didn't create um so in um replicated storage click on the plus sign add a remote event let's rename this to key card notification because you will receive a notification if um you fail the key card check let's go to game dot replicated storage double point find first child uh key card notification okay the prompt dot triggered so when you trigger the prompt you we will connect a function player so we will see who triggered the prompt by player so local character equals to player dot character if character and character double point find first child key card so we will check if the player has a the key card uh, then what we're gonna do is we're gonna set the door dot transparency equals to let's say 0 0.5 uh door dot and collide equals to false and we're gonna wait like three seconds maybe even two this is how much time the player will have to pass through the door uh door dot can collide equals to uh true or uh combat door dot uh, transparency equals to zero and then else so if it he doesn't have the key card and if remote event so if we found the remote event which we do and remote event a point fire client uh player comma what will we do as action test as do access uh denied and then the bottom text will be you need to equip the key card so the script will look something like this but now normally when we test the game you already have a simple working uh door doesn't work if you don't have the keycard equipped if you do you can go through it but now i think you also want like a fan notification so if you receive an error go in 
player starter play, a player scripts which is found in starter player that's adding local scripts i just rename this to a key card notification handler you can remove whatever you want so don't worry about it um and in this script we will also look at our remote event is game dot replicator storage level point and push child key notification um, and then we will go remote event uh dot on client event that will point connect function uh title command message so the title of the message is this this is your title and this is your message um so let's do game dot starter gui uh, that'll point set core send a notification comma let's do like this title equals to wait let's do this title equals to title text equals to message oh, by the way also add, each time add a comma after these things then duration equals to two here you don't have to add a comma because you, you and the thing each time you add a new thing you should make a comma uh let's test it out i think it should normally work with a notification so you can pass through it and if i don't have the keycard equipped to give you a small notification x night you need to equip the keycard so that was it this is a simple tutorial how to make a keycard if you want me to make a part two on this of um, how to make like it's like a animation that it opens um, not that it's simply just like a part that gets transparent. Uh, leave a like. Let me know in the comments. Uh, this reached like 10 likes. I will make a animation for it. And explain it in the next tutorial. Of course, this will also be a model link in the description below if you don't want pain of scripting and doing everything. So yeah, just head on to the comments. I mean, in the, in the description to see the model. Yet again, I'll explain how the model will work. Again, it will have a model like keycard door open it you will see a lot of folders in it rep storage open it you will see replicated storage with zero storage just click this drag it into replicated storage do the same for starter pack is here and starter player go down which is in here inside of starter player um then the workspace um wait so actually rename this to starter their rips because this is starter player um then in workspace door and drag this into workspace you can just delete this but i will not do that now that normally everything should also work the notification you can go through it thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next one